what you say that you don't like a optimal podcast. Mm, what you say <laughs> that it's not the best. I feel like that was in every like <laughs> Call of Duty montage. <laughs> <laughs> like the early 2000s. Oh. That that specific thing from talking about co-optimal podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! Like, All yeah, right, and then you go you go back and watch the videos, <laughs> and, and that's really it's, it's, it's just me. It's just me, and you're in the background with ba- backup vocals going, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody! Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh okay, so uh, how you doing, Juan? How you doing? Uh I'm pretty good. Pretty fantabulous, if I do say so myself. Fan fantabulous. Oh man. That that song really got me in the mood. Uh <laughs> <laughs> for what? In the mood for what? <laughs> doing this podcast. What what else? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> all right, uh, I don't know what happened there, but I uh, had a little bit of the giggles. All right, guys, so we got a really exciting podcast today. Uh, quite a bit that we're going to be talking about. Uh, some pretty interesting stuff. Um, we're going to start with uh, the Venom movie. Uh, some more information on that that's uh, come out recently. What was it? Like another? F- what was it? Just another trailer? Yeah, it was another like mini trailer. All right. Um, and then, uh, and then we're gonna go straight from that talking about the new Spider-Man game. Uh, looks pretty dope. So, uh, that's gonna be interesting to talk about. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, Devil May Cry Five and the microtransaction it has. Um, Twitch blocked in China. Uh, that one's gonna be very interesting. Um, then we have a little bit of uh, uh, some actual news about. Some bumpkins in Texas. Uh, What? Why? It's going to be be fantastic. (laughs) Why? Uh, And then we're going to talk about video game companies doing nice things for people that are sick. So uh, let's hop right into it. Uh, After Juan. After Juan. After Juan. (laughs) Yeah, after after you uh, tell everyone the joke that you decided to make uh, before the podcast started. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually so, lost. So before the podcast started, uh, Juan, I asked him for our sound test if he could uh, talk about potatoes so I could kind of get an idea of his uh, uh, volume levels. Volume levels? Voice voice levels. <laughs> and uh, he decided to make a joke saying uh, that there's a famine that happened where I'm living right now. <laughs> And and then he proceeded to ask me if I eat a lot of potatoes here. Uh, the answer to that question is, I wouldn't say that I eat more more than like like an above average amount. I would say that I eat a pretty normal amount of potatoes. Um, I've I've had a lot of uh, chips recently, and by chips I mean big cut fries because that's what they are in Europe. Uh, oh, chips are not so potato good. chips. They're just big cut fries that are very delicious. And then put like some... steak fries. Yeah, like kind of like steak fries. How we would have very similar to those. It was very uh, oh. <laughs> <Sounds so good. laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been eating uh quite a bit of those only because they're easy to bake and they taste delicious and they have them with everything. Like Chinese food here, ha- like comes with chips. Like, <laughs> like like but with like different seasonings on them. It's it's so hard to explain. Like you need to just come here and eat the food here. I'm being serious. It's super. I, I love potatoes. potatoes. Potatoes can just go with anything. So potatoes good. are so amazing. Um. Anyways, enough about food. Or we'll be talking about it all night. Uh. Let's talk about the Venom movie. So. Oh my god, dude! It, I I am so excited for this Venom movie, especially with Tom Hardy. I I already love Tom Hardy as an actor. Um. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm just I'm really excited. I, how, how much of it have you seen? I seen the original trailer, um, and then I've seen like like I've like read some stuff and like kind of saw some pictures and stuff from it, and then I, th- I think I saw like the second trailer that came out or whatever. It looks okay. 
Uh, listen, oh, Ven man. Ven I love Venom. I See, love him. The, the thing is, though, like, okay, so Tom Hardy's supposed to be portraying, uh, what's it, Eddie Brock, right? Okay. That That's right, the uh, right. iteration of, of Venom, which is cool and all, but I think it would have been way cooler to see uh, Tom Hardy as, like, Flash Thompson's version of Venom. Have you ever seen Flash Thompson's version of Venom? No, I've read a lot about it because I was interested when I heard about the Venom movie coming out. I was, like, just started reading up on Venom because I thought he was really dope uh, beforehand, but I realized I didn't know a whole lot about the character in and of itself. So I started so, reading like, up on it. Okay, well, Flash Thompson, obviously, I mean, he's he's a high school student, so, I, I mean, that doesn't really fit with Tom Hardy. But his uh his version of Venom, it, it's it's so much cooler. Just because, like, Tom Hardy already is, like, a stocky, pretty well-built person. Like, if you look at his earlier, not earlier films, but previous films, like uh, like Warrior, like, yeah, you can see, or Bronson, like, you can see how big of a man Tom Hardy actually is. Right, right. And uh, Flash Thompson's version of, of Venom, is is more along the lines of a hero and not an anti-hero, but he's more of that bulky build. He, he he actually looks like a like a riot, like a riot police officer, which goes into like another thing I want to talk about Venom, and the, the the Venom trailer. But he looks like he's wearing more like a riot gear, and he's a bulkier. I, I don't know if he I would say bulkier version of Venom because Venom looks huge, but I he's mean, more realistic. <laughs> I was about to say but. like <laughs> Venom's always been huge. Like I, I, I'll I'll send you a picture so you can see, but we can uh, continue this this conversation. Yeah, I mean, um, I thought Eddie Brock was kind of like though the OG, and also the one that Venom, the symbiote itself, always comes back to. Yeah, I mean, like people are gonna definitely recognize that version of Venom over this version of Venom. I just think it would have been cool from like a personal, you know, personal viewpoint, especially because I like, I know the character. Here you go. Have you read read the comics or something? Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. I see it. I see it. I okay. Just, I like that yeah, would have been cool to see Tom to see Tom Hardy like that. I guess but I don't um, really. I don't really. I don't know if I like that kind of riot gear look though. It's not my favorite. No, you don't. I think it would have been cool on Tom Hardy. <laughs> I like. I like Anna Venom. Like I think he looks dope. Oh, that's yeah. He's do, he's dope. Um. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about in the in the trailer is that they sh actually show, showed the uh, I think who's going to be the mo the the main uh, villain and it's it's Riot, the symbiote the symbiote Riot, right? Which is a really one. fucking cool symbiote because like he, he he doesn't have a huge fan base because he's not really well known. He's only in a couple comics. I was but, gonna say I haven't heard of him. No, but he's really cool. He's got he like makes blades out of his hands and like really it, it, I don't know he's cool it's a, it's a cool symbiote I, I definitely think it would have been better to see Carnage and I don't know if he is in the film but uh, and the Venom film uh, I don't know I don't know who the you would assume that it would be Carnage since that's Carnage and Venom are like the ones that always go head to head right but it didn't. Yeah. I don't really know if it's shown a true villain. That's a good question. They sh they showed Riot. I seen Riot. Riot. Yeah. That's all just... I see. That might be it. That might be who the main villain's gonna be. Which is kind of cool because like this version of Venom, he's already like a strong, fucking you know, he's a strong character, and Riot's right. supposed to be strong too. So I think it'll make like good action scenes, if nothing less. Yeah, I wonder no, if there's I mean, gonna be. Oh, sorry, I just dropped everything. <laughs> no, it's um, gonna. <laughs> I guess Tom Hardy is signed for three films, though, so this is not gonna be the only film. Wow, that's really, really crazy that they decided to put in that much, like, expectation for it, considering they normally don't. I mean, the only reason Spider-Man did good was because Marvel helped. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, let's be honest here. Like, Sony Films hasn't had a good superhero movie ever, and isn't that who's do who's doing this the movies as well? I'm not. I'm not sure. Sony Pictures, yeah. Like oh. they, the the reason, well, the reason that um that Spider Man, uh, the new Spider Man Homecoming and uh and stuff like that is because there's a deal between Sony and Marvel, 
and uh, Marvel like basically has been putting its special touches in those movies that involve Spider-Man because they want him to be good because they want him. And mm. so I'm assuming because I heard that Venom at first kind of wasn't looking like it was going to be doing too good. And then they probably got more help from Marvel saying like, hey, we don't want this to be a piece of shit because if it's a piece of shit, then you're going to crumble our potential Spider-Man arc that we have set up. See, and that's a question I have is like, because, okay, at some point I, I can just assume that Spider-Man at least is going to make a cameo. You would think so. You would think so. I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's nothing to point in that direction in the in the previews or anything, but I would I would just assume so. And who would that Spider Man be in the in the current like you know Marvel Cinematic Universe? Who would that be? I mean, like, yeah, they're not gonna have a whole different Spider Man, especially because, like I said, Spider Man did a like their part. It Spider Man is still the movies, like the films. I think are still owned by Sony, but they've been allowing Marvel to like use it because they have like a deal. Because they because pretty much how it was looking was Sony was losing money making their Spider Man movies. They are losing money not putting out these superhero movies in this environment where uh, all these superhero movies are coming out and doing gangbusters. And so they came up with a deal and said, hey. We'll give you this if we can have a hand in helping create it with like what we have. We can put our name and our brand on it. But really, what it is is a large chunk of Marvel coming up with ideas, and then like Sony being like, "Well, here's some stuff that we want to see because of what oh. we wanted to do." And that's why like Spider-Man was really good because it had the Marvel like all the Marvel touch to it, but it still had Sony's slap on it. And I'm assuming some of the decisions that were made were probably for sony's reasonings you know what i mean because i i love the movie and i thought it was great but i'm sure there are some people that would say there's some like there are some issues that they could have had with it it wasn't like the greatest movie by any means mm-hmm. but i thought i thought spider-man was really really good i love spider-man i don't know if i would say it was the best movie i've ever seen but <laughs> it was really good uh did you uh off subject on subject a little bit um did you see uh, the rumors for like the 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 next DC move? No, well, I don't even like... care about DC. But tell me, oh, their movies, man! They could have did so much better. Oh, <laughs> their movies are so bad. It makes me honestly, it 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 makes me not give a shit about the DC universe because of how bad the movies are. Because and it's so sad because I like DC. <laughs> And, like, I don't even think, like, there's nothing wrong with DC. I've always been more of a Marvel person, but, like, there's nothing wrong with DC at all. And they, they have really good characters, but because the movies are doing so wrong to them, it's making it, it it's, it's, even if you don't follow the movies, what you're doing is you're surrounding yourself, like, and everybody else with these characters that you create that are supposed to be... Uh, oh no, dog barking. Uh, hopefully I can take that out. Uh, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> uh, I apologize for that, guys, if it's still in post. But um, you have these. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, these the every everything surrounded by uh these really shitty characters that they created. So like oh, the Aquaman looks like this or the Superman looks like this and like all these kids are seeing it and all these people are seeing it and that's what their vision of it is and then it just makes you think of the shitty movie and so then that's what you think of the characters now. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 I agree with you. Um, No, the, the okay, the rumor is... What the hell? Did you hear that? No, the rumor is... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my computer's making a bunch of noises. Um... The rumor is because the the current Sir, Superman or whatever stepped down. Did you see that? I don't even know the actor. Oh name. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the actor's name either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know his name. I did like him as Superman, but I, I don't know his name. Um. Well, the the person who's to take on that role is rumored to be Michael B. Jordan. You know. I like him as an actor. Okay, don't get me wrong, and and I hope don't like nobody thinks I'm like racist or you know any of that. I just man, like I, I hate it when when they try to fill these roles with people who don't look like the role. 
Is that wrong? Uh, it's it's very it's a very complicated subject because to me, I think as long as like the character acts like how the character is supposed to act, then there isn't anything wrong with how you visually represent them as long as it's not something too crazy and it's not like 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 they have uh, the Hunchback of Notre Dame doing Superman, and it's like, oh, here you go. Like, See, hit it. My, but like, my, my thing is, is if a character has been depicted as the same kind of character for the last 15, 20 years, you know, I think that you should try to find an actor that fits those guidelines. Like, Black Panther has been portrayed as, as you know, like an African or African, you know, a person, you know. It would be some... Uh, it would be so frustrating to see like an Asian actor try to play Black Panther. Well, the thing is though, For is, me. there's I guess I I get what you're saying because there's 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 like certain ways that they're depicted as in the comic, and you want it to like come out close to oh, what has been yeah, is, yeah, what's been visual visualized. I think that I don't think that the issue is that the the character. I think this is what it is. It's not that the character is a different race as much as it is like that character being a different race changes how they were depicted. And I think that's yeah. what it gets a lot of people upset is that you everyone thinks that you're saying, oh, you're saying that character can't be a girl. Oh, you're saying that that ca- person can't be black because of racial reasons. But it's not the race. It's the the way that they look. Like if if, if, if there was like an Asian actor that, decided to like portray the Superman role uh, and like had very similar features to Superman, but was just Asian. I think there'd be less controversy, but because you're taking uh, like, like a, a, a race that doesn't have a lot of similarities to what Superman is of, of itself, you're making it. So there's like barely any similarities. And so people have fought with that. The issue though, is that a lot of the time that's not what people are complaining about. There's a lot of people that are just like, I don't want my character to be to be black. I don't want my character no. to be Asian. I don't want my character to be they 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 don't need to be that race because I don't give a shit about that race. And that's how they try to present it as instead of it doesn't look like the character. They that's they not they're like I'm it's because of race. And See, and I think that's why there's so much controversy and like vitriol against that sort of stuff is because people make it about the race aspect instead of making it about what like they like both sides do. One side is like, oh, like it needs to be like this because it's it's re- and I get it. It represents it's how it's like taking a character and helping it represent their community and making that like a mon- minority that in the U.S. is up in a primary like United States like viewing movie. You're putting it in the spotlight, and I think that's wonderful. The issue is is when the character looks nothing like how it's presented. I do see the problem with that because your character that you envision w- one way isn't like that yeah, yeah like go ahead oh okay see like uh back to the whole the role or whatever i don't have a problem with michael b jordan playing superman my problem is the version of Sur- superman there is a black superman and his name is uh kelvin El- a kelvin ellis and he's from earth 2 and he's actually the uh the president in that uh in that universe it would be awesome to see michael J- michael b jordan play that role now, if you're trying to just swap characters and say, like, Michael B. Jordan as this Superman is the same as the last Superman, that will frustrate me. I hate when – and it's not even with just that, but I hate it when they, like, movies try to swap roles and pretend like nobody noticed. If they if they do it where this is – like, they try to pr- – even if they don't make it identical, if that's the, that's the move that they're going for, and they're more of just going for their own kind of spin on it and saying, this is our Superman – I get that. Then that makes sense. But if they're literally just going to say character swap and pretend that the the Superman's is like not different, that's going to be an issue. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because that's stupid. <laughs> I no, I agree with that. But yeah, no, like I definitely understand all of the like the situations when it comes to like the looks and the race and the stuff like that. I would feel the same way about any sort of like um like like I love uh, my favorite band is Coheed and Camera. I don't know, like if people know anything about me, they would know that. And they have there's a comic based around the band, based around the music that they create, 
called the Amory Wars, and there's talks for a long time, and there still wasn't anything actually talking about it not being real. But uh, uh, there's talks for a long time about them creating a movie based off of the stuff. And the characters in it, to me, based on how the comics were and how everything was portrayed, are a very it's 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 like a a a very like um Latino sort of family. The names are very Latino, like Latin and stuff like that, like Spanish uh, and all that stuff. But are you watching something? No, not at all. Oh, <laughs> I heard a noise in the background. Uh, but if I saw those characters. And, like, they were like, okay, we casted it, and it was, like, very white people, like, uh, like, like <laughs> Frank, like, a guy that looks like his name would be, like, Frank, and he, uh, works at a, uh, a law firm, or, like, um, <laughs> or, like, uh, Asian or black or anything like that, I would be upset myself, because I get it. It makes sense, because th- that's not how those characters were portrayed in any way. But, so, like, I get that, I understand that, like, aspect of it i just think people though don't want that for more more negative reasons because of the fact that like the character like they're like oh they're black and they don't need to be in my movie and i think that's where the issues come in Um, i get that i think we got way off subject sorry guys we (laughs) did uh but it's i guess that's part of this part of it if you're gonna venom looks good hopefully it'll be good um and uh, you also heard our opinions on race when it comes to uh, superhero movies. <laughs> on on to uh, the next topic, which is in the same vein, the Spider-Man, Spider-Man. game. Spider-Man. Are you going to buy it? I haven't bought it. I want I don't, to buy it. I don't have a PS4 right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So I will not buy it, but I'll tell you that I think it looks it looks gorgeous. Uh, the fighting Does it looks not super remind fun. you of like <laughs> every Spider-Man game that's ever been created, though. It does, but listen, I think there's really cool mechanics with like sneaking. There's really cool, like like you. There's like more, uh, like you have to be kind of like stealthy objectives to it, which makes sense to me because that's how Spider-Man would be. I feel like he wouldn't be like you can play it where you jump in and you just start kicking ass, and some of the combos look dope as hell. But that's not how Spider-Man would always be, I don't feel like. I feel like he'd, like, try to take the tax in, in, like, a real-life scenario, which is how this is trying to portray, and less, like, a comic and more, like, a mixture of, like, movie comic uh, in real life. You would, like, expect him to, like, oh, I'm going to climb up here and be really stealthy because I'm a spider that's fucking quiet when I climb and I can do dope <laughs> shit. And then I'm going to, like, shoot web to, like, pull someone against the wall and, like, cover their mouth so they can't speak. Or I'm going to knock them out or stuff like that. And I think that's a cool aspect. Hey- have you seen all the suits and how they uh they all have different like perks and stuff? Um, I haven't seen that. I've seen the different suits and stuff like that. I didn't know they had different perks. That's dope as hell. That oh, yeah, reminds all, me a lot of like the Nintendo sixty four game. Like there's a, a, a I always say this word wrong. A, a noir, 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 noir. Yeah, yeah. It's a suit and it's like a super stealth suit and it's really cool, dude. It looks so good. Dude, the game so, looks looks good. That's just uh when you when you were talking about stealth and like the whole stealth aspect, I was like, yeah, yeah, they really did like incorporate different uh, aspects and like different mechanics so that you can play different play styles if you if you choose to. To me, that's what but- makes games great. That's what that's what can make an open world or at least like semi open like have a good time. Like you can have a good time playing it is if you they give you options to play it and not like just like fake options, but like you can go through and play in a specific way because there's like some things that are like oh here you go you have fire you have ice you have this you have that and it's like cool but i'm still gonna walk in and just kill something and that's still my objective whereas like with this it's like you can go stealthy you can just run in and start beating the shit out of people you know what i mean like you have like different sort of styles of playing uh there's this game that uh uh, uh i used to play called do sex um and it it, it like had very similar uh they like remade it and, and uh this is like whoa how many years ago was this five six i don't even know now but you could play it like 
three or four different ways and each way had like a different like way you could play in that where like you could be really stealthy or you could be like a hacker or you could like go in and just start shooting people or you could do whatever and i feel like that's that's something that can make a game really cool and the fact that this game kind of incorporates some of those elements is cool because that's kind of how spider-man would be he wouldn't always just be running punch punches, people yeah. he also always wouldn't be just sneaking like you got to make it realistic uh the web slinging looks dope, dude. Like how like, oh, they, like it the, looks he so swings good. from the building. It looks so natural. Like it, it looks. They did a really good job on making the movement look flu, like fluid, fluid, Flu fluid, fluid. That word. <laughs> Flu fluid, fluent, fluent, fluent in English. Uh, really great. Flu flute, flute. <laughs> Flu flute, no. flute. Uh, it plays music when you're uh, swinging through the air. It's great. No, but yeah, they they did a really good job on that. I I seen that, and there's different suits that uh, change the the way you act in 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 the air, which is really oh, cool. That's like the, cool. Spi the, the Spider Man 2099 suit makes you like have a, a longer fly time, which uh, is really cool. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That's super dope. Are you gonna get it? I want to so bad. <laughs> Probably gonna get it. My son's a huge fan of Spider Man, so <laughs> I'll probably buy it. If it ever came out on PC, you had to get it. But I just I don't have a PS4, so I can't play it. I bet I'd really enjoy it. It'd be super something super fun to stream and just like play around and just like talk about. But I won't be playing it. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, looking forward. They have another one coming out um, soon, don't they? What? Like what? don't they don't they don't they have something? Not soon. Like but like they plan on making another one. I hope so. I don't know. Oh, well, m maybe I misheard something and I'm thinking of the Spider-Man movie, <laughs> but I, 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 I <laughs> like, swear, just come I out. swear that like it came out and like it got good reviews and they, they were like, I heard someone say that they're already talking about potentially making a sequel to it. Like, cause it's been doing good. So I don't know. It looks maybe good. not. I guess we'll see what the future holds. I'm really excited for the new Spider-Man movie. So, uh, I, in, I haven't like, heard anything about the new Spider what Spider-Man movie far from home. Is that what it is? Oh, okay, yeah. I didn't see any previews or anything for it. No, I, that's I not the one I'm, I'm excited for. Have you seen the animated one? Uh, I think it's called like Into the Spider Verse or whatever. No. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good, and it's an animated movie. Oh, oh. I don't even know if it came out or when its release date is, but yeah, it's an animated movie, and it's uh, it follows. I want to say, I, I don't know his name, but he's a version of a of. Spider Man, he's like a little mixed Mexican, uh, black. But, but the yeah, Ultimate like... Spider Man, is that what? that character? Is it the character from the Ultimate Spider Man? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, he he ends up meeting up with like, in in the 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 preview or whatever, he met up with like Gwen Stacy as Spider as Spider Girl, and then like Peter Parker. I was like, oh, it, looks, it just looks good. Huh. That yeah. sounds interesting. I have to check it out when it comes out. Let me know because I probably won't follow it enough to remember because I'll be Re release date <laughs> December fourteenth, two thousand eighteen. Oh, okay. There you go. Let's check it out then. If I'm not too busy playing all these dope games coming out, blah, blah, blah. if you want to hear about the games that I'm most excited about, uh, go check out my blog. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little self promo right there. <laughs> website the, the fsblog.com check out the f blog i just put up a new thing about this next topic that we're talking about and it's about devil may cry 5 having michael trans what if i talked like that during these podcasts it's just so intense with every word with every word <laughs> would you be mad hello guys and welcome to the co-optable podcast just <laughs> boo, 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 boo. <laughs> fireworks fucking eagle scream in the background <laughs> just god it might work, right. you know? No. Okay, we'll do it. No. No. <laughs> Anyways. No, no, we won't. <laughs> okay, so, so the next topic. I seriously did write about this because I have very strong feelings on this. But um, So I don't know if you heard about this. You probably didn't. I've never played a Devil May Cry game. <laughs> Neither have I. Neither have I. But I saw the news that – and I, but I know that Devil May Cry games are a single-player experience, okay? Mm -hmm. And I saw that uh, a, a news – uh, title that Devil May Cry 5 will have uh, upgrade microtransactions. I was like, what? I was like, what does that mean? And, and like I thought mean? it meant like something about the game. So, in the game, 
there when, as you're playing through it and you're killing stuff and like progressing there's little red orbs that you collect and you can trade them in for upgrades to like get better combos to get like different styles of like killing things like different powers and, and stuff like that uh different moves um well those red orbs when you go to trade them in to get the upgrades you can actually at the shop or wherever that you go or the person that you talk to whatever it is um you can pay with real world money to buy orbs so you can upgrade your character faster so that way you can play your single player experience with an upgraded character faster in the game tell me uh, what that makes huh? you think so let's say there's a I move feel called like people are lazy let's let's say there's a move uh, that you can get in the game that you can unlock uh, with these orbs called Nutshot McGee, okay? And you do this really cool combo where you'd, like, do this crazy shit and then you nutshot them. Uh, instead of, like, playing the game and collecting the orbs to get it, like, and, like, you get it later on, like, how most of these games are, kind of like how I think it was in, like, not, maybe not God of War, but uh, what was the one where, like, the, you were the Dark Horse, like, one of the four horsemen of the Apocalypse, Darksiders? Um, but... You uh, can apparently, like, instead of, like, playing the game and getting experience, it's it's basically, like, experience. So instead of, get, like, just playing the game and getting experience by progressing, you can pay money to get that experience and then unlock Nutshot McGee at the beginning of the game if you spend the however much money, it, like, it costs to get enough orbs and then have that move from the beginning of the game. So you're telling me I could, sp okay, just... Theoretically, I could be like, okay, I, I'm willing to spend ninety nine ninety nine and unlock all the moves. I can just have this OP character from the beginning of the game to the end of the game. Yes. What's the fun in that? So, if you don't know about these games too, they're hack. They're okay. So they're hacking, hack and slash games, single player experience, hack and slash like action adventure. You can like kind of go around a little bit and like you fight creatures. Think of it like like an old God of War game, but like they like it's kind of like that type of gameplay. Um, so you. The, the the main draw of the game is that like you can like you know just like kill these things really like elegantly and do all this crazy shit and as you play more and more and you kill more things you can use the, the the things that you get to unlock new moves to make it as you're playing it more interesting because now you're starting to work towards unlocking these dope things that like kill things elegantly and that's the point of the game is to just kill things like more and more crazily you know what I mean and to kind of have like a little experience with the story that's the only draw of it. So what they're doing, in my opinion, is they're taking the main draw of playing uh, uh, or of like playing it to get these like extra more extravagant kills as you go on and do like this crazy shit. They're taking that away and then letting you do it straight from the get go. So there's almost no point in playing the game except for the story, because it's not hard to play these games. You just keep pushing a button pretty much, and you'll start attacking and doing whatever. It's not. It's like so you play the game to do crazy shit and like be like, "Oh, dude, that looked awesome." For those people that like those type of games, they're allowing yeah. you to pay money to just get it automatically. It, it, so this is what the, the one of the uh, like developers of the game said. He said. With giving people the ability to purchase red orbs, it's something we want to give people as an option. If they want to save time and just want to get all the stuff at once, those people can do that. But on the other hand, I don't feel you have to get all the moves. But you should be able to play it the way that you want to play it. On the surface, that sounds smart, right? Let them play it how it they want to play greedy. it. It sounds greedy. It sounds like exactly. a cash grab, honestly. But below the surface, if you look into it harder, what it's saying is you're allowing people to pay money to have a watered down experience because you're going to be stronger you're going to be better in some way even if it's only like minutely and you're making it so the game now because you did that either either you either it's less difficult or you have to they have to ramp up the difficulty to make it better so then it's not the experience that they made the game for either way you're not getting that gameplay experience that they expected you to get and I don't think it's a good it's a good idea. I don't think it's good. I think it's I think it's 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 greedy like you said. Now 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 I'm going to let you create this next scenario after I say this. Kids that are like from the ages of 11 to 16 that have their parents credit card on their Xbox or whatever or their PlayStation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that are lazy. 
just mm. just like world world build that. I'm, I or I just world build it for you. Now you tell me the story of what happens. What what, <laughs> what do you what do you mean? Tell me what you would expect from the scenario that I just gave you. Like what what are kids gonna do? Yes. Oh, they're like easily. They're gonna, sorry. I'm getting a phone call. Oh, oh, mom's not gonna notice five ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what it is. And even if even if it was like not, like, against their parents' wishes, or maybe it's their own money, they're still gonna feel like, oh shit, this is gonna be dope, and it's barely any money that I have to pay. So I'll just pay this money, and I'll get to unlock this stuff. But they are, they're going to feel like they need to unlock it. I can hear myself. Why can't I hear myself, Juan? Oh, sorry. Can you hear yourself now? I don't I don't know. I wasn't talking. <laughs> so <laughs> so so even 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 if they like they have that money and it's their money to do with what they want, they're going to be like looking at it as from the standpoint of oh, this is something that I like I, I can spend money on and I can get it for uh, uh I can get, unlock this game and then I don't have to play it in this way that that's meant to be played. I can just play it like whatever and they're going to expect that from future games. And they're going to be mad when other games don't have it. Why can't I just pay $50 to make my character the best character in the game? Why can't I do that? That sounds that sounds so not fun, dude. That just seems like a bad idea. It's like I'm gonna pay a hundred dollars just to beat the game. It's why? Why would you ever do that? <laughs> it's basically like paying sixty dollars for a game and then paying thirty extra dollars so that way you can beat the game faster. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid! Oh my god, it's dumb. It just, it's, it's dumb. dumb. It's dumb. It, I I, yeah. I don't understand. I don't understand it. Uh, I do kind of like go on like a little bit more subjects in my in my blog post that I made on my website. Um, but uh, no, it's seriously it's it's dumb. It's stupid, and I don't get it. But that's where we are now. What do you what do you think? Do you, Juan, do you think that this is gonna like lead to a, a slippery slope of of um people expecting there to be microtransactions in games all the time now for everything? It, it very well could. It's kind of like falling along the lines of like pay to win games, or, or like not, not even pay to play, but pay to, pay to win. You know, games that yeah. give other players like advantages for uh, for cash, pretty much. And you, I just, I mean, if if you want if you want to spend that kind of money to basically for uh, cheat codes, you remember being like younger and you would you would go online <laughs> and you'd look up all the cheat codes <laughs> and game and packs, like, game effect keys. Yeah. <laughs> You'd fill out like a full sheet of cheat codes, and then you like go to play the game. Sorry, I, I have a, a child. Um, you yeah, you would fill out like a full sheet of cheat codes out, and then you would like spend like an hour and a half putting in all these cheat codes just to find that it made your game not fun anymore. <laughs> or or like you got bored in like thirty minutes, and then you just didn't use the cheat codes anymore. And it yeah, was, like, what was like, the point. The, the, that's what it reminds me of the thing is except for now you're paying money for it <laughs> exactly could you imagine to ha- like if those websites when we were younger would have cost like twenty dollars for access you would never have done it no i would <laughs> i would have been like i'm gonna ask my friend timmy who already bought this how much it was <laughs> <laughs> his mom always gives him money little <laughs> for, for cheat codes little shit <laughs> no, it's it's dumb. I honestly, I feel like I used to be very like, I used to be very, if it doesn't affect me in like a multiplayer setting or whatever, and if people want these microtransactions, then fine, let it do them as long as it doesn't affect anybody else. But now it's getting to the point where I feel like this will affect everybody else in the future in some way because games will have it, or maybe games that don't have it or do have it are end up end up being like it ends up being bad and so then the game gets low review scores and then i end up not playing that game because i'm afraid that it's going to be shitty you know what i mean because that's what the review scores say but it ends up actually being a pretty decent game but there's so many people that are upset about those microtransactions like look at look at what happened to battlefront 2 okay star wars battlefront 2 
Like it's mm. not the best game ever. Don't get me don't like don't get me wrong. But the game doesn't look bad, and it really wasn't that bad. But it had so much loot box controversy because EA doesn't know how to fucking try to not penny pinch stuff. I get there being negatives about it, but now the game has been to the point where a lot of people just didn't buy it, and it's actually a enjoyable game, and I would play it. Like I would play it right now, but there's not enough people that like would play it with me to make it enjoyable that it could be because they all were scared away by not doing any more research except for seeing that it said microtransaction big bad do not buy <laughs> I think it's the the whole the whole issue is less problematic with single player games so I think it's not a huge like a huge deal with this game as much as it would have been if it was like an online multiplayer player so I, I think that like if anything's going for it is that it's a single player game yeah, and I think that's a one like thing that's kind of like I get it, but it also kind of makes it seem like well, why do people want like if people really like actually are showing that they want that in a single player game? Well, then what's the point of even having a single player game where you have time to invest into it if you don't want to invest time? That's what it feels like to me, and I'm afraid they're gonna do it with everything. And then I'm, every time I load up a game, I'm gonna see a single player game, mind you. I'm gonna see by. Buy loot box to have chance of get faster XP. Uh, twenty twenty dollar. See it right now. Buy it now. And I'm gonna be like, I don't, <laughs> don't want to see that every time I fucking load up the game. I don't want to see it. <laughs> you like go up to a merchant and he's like, with three easy payments of nine ninety nine, you could have this armor. <laughs> and I'd be like, Argh! you know what I mean? <laughs> well, the, the other thing is, is what if they make in that game? What if they make in Devil May Cry Five? kind of difficult to get red orbs as quickly and they're more grindy and so now what they're doing is they're very sneakily making it so you might want to buy red orbs they're like cornering you into like buy like buy buy no like but that's seriously like, it's, like, like it's, it's 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 like the games oh, yeah. where it's like really hard to get uh green crystals to speed up your 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 making and even though that game can only affect you on your phone you still think oh my god it'd be really man. not it'd be really nice to have like six green crystals to speed this up that's <laughs> i know that's how it's gonna be about. that's how I it's gonna be i spent an ungodly amount of money in that game and quit in one day how so what game? You're hold on, you're you're talking about um oh damn it what was that game <laughs> the one where you built like a, you build a little base and you got like, all wizards. mobile games are like that <laughs> what is what is it man um you're thinking of castle uh ca uh boom to... boom uh boom city boom <laughs> <laughs> boom beach uh uh castle oh. crashers uh that's what I <laughs> That's what I wanted to keep calling it. What's Clash it of Clans. Clash of Clans. Yeah, I spent <laughs> I spent a, a lot of money in that just because I didn't want to wait. Like I'm so impatient. <laughs> so it's like I, I gotta wait three days for my town hall to be built. No, I was like I'm gonna spend twenty dollars and get it built right now. <laughs> and then you get all the bonuses too, and you're like, oh yeah, now nah, I'm dope because I got these bonuses and and six cannoneers. Like ooh, like nah. You're and fucked. then the game. Yeah. <laughs> Then you don't play it. I spent like ten dollars on uh, uh, Final Fantasy fifteen. That's a, exactly like that. Like uh, the 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 mobile app where you like build stuff up, and I got like this really dope base. And then I after like a week of playing it straight, maybe two weeks of playing it straight, I never played it again. <laughs> and there's been so many games like like that like have similar things to it that I do, and I, it's just like it's just another way to get money. You know what I mean? And that's that's where the mm -hmm. issue comes to me is that they're gonna try to do that with a single player game, so it's gonna make you feel like man, it's taking forever to get these red orbs, and I really just want to be able to chop this guy's head off instantaneously. I'm just gonna buy the red orbs, and then you're fucking up the the experience because you're putting it in people's face that they can get it. You can say, oh, you don't have to buy it, but when the game is su like sucky without being able to buy it. That's when it becomes an issue. So, I don't it's, know. What's my opinion? It's like handing somebody a rock, right? And they're like, there's a diamond inside this rock. You can have it if you can get the diamond. And then it's like, but I have this pickaxe if you want to buy the pickaxe. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I, I don't know. I think it's just it's just negative. It's it's not good for the, for, like you said, the experience. And I think it's greedy. It yeah. feels greedy. It's it feels greedy, and I think that's that's just I don't know. I I have bad thoughts about it, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. 
I want to talk about other things that are bad. Uh, just a short. <laughs> maybe may, maybe this won't be that long. It depends on how much we can come up to talk with it. But it, it's an interesting topic. So, okay. Twitch. Everyone knows what Twitch is. It's a popular streaming service. If you go to twitch.tv slash gaming and follow us, uh, maybe we'll start playing some games there soon. <laughs> I'm just going to plug the whole podcast. <laughs> Promos. With, with promotions. <laughs> if you'd like to become a sponsor of the Co-Optimal Podcast, please email me at insert email here. Uh, no, but it it's uh so Twitch, yeah, it's a popular streaming service. Um, I guess it was doing really really well in China. Uh, because a bunch of esports fans that were start like it was starting esports were starting to get really popular in China, and a lot of people were starting to follow these esports. Um. And then all of a sudden, you know, China making doing gangbusters on Twitch all of a sudden. Uh, what the hell is that? What's what's a gangbuster? Gangbusters. It's just like I don't, I don't, I don't know what it means. I just know it means, or I don't know what it comes from or what it actually is supposed to be. I just know gang. You never heard that before? Gangbusters. No. Like it, it does great. It did great. It did great. It was doing great. Oh. <laughs> I, I was like, people are gang busting on Twitch. What's that? <laughs> what is that? I can see why it's bad. Twi- Twitch was doing great. Twitch was doing great uh, in the China- Chinese market. And then all of a sudden, the Twitch app was removed from the iOS app store in China. And there's no way to like to look at Twitch uh, in China. It's banned. Twitch is no longer available in China. Um, is there any explanation or reason? The Chinese government kind of like uh, talked about some of the stuff. Um, it says that uh, let's see here. It says that um, a lot of the Chinese government regularly re- re- the Chinese government regularly requires games developed outside the country to be modified for its citizens. Um, mm, so they're kind of like uh, who who what what is that Europe? The whole what? Wolfenstein like Wolfenstein games, you know that are. Uh, yeah, yeah, they change a little bit. Yeah, except for China does it with like everything, and like they're like, if it makes our people happy, then get it out of here. Kind of, <laughs> it seems like with a lot of things. <laughs> and so, like, like video games just recently over the last like ten years were allowed to be open. You know what I mean? Like, we played there. Hmm. Like, I didn't know that. It, it, it's a it's a communist regime that's like the bad kind of communism so it's not doing good at all and it and it's like they they basically to me what it sounds like is based on some of the stuff that i've read it sounds like it was doing really good and a lot of people were focusing in on it a lot and it got china scared because they're like oh people can like what is this and then they looked at it it was like oh they can get like they can talk to people from different countries, see how that is going, like see what it's like there, and maybe they'll make them want to leave or not want to create things, or maybe they'll try to create things that talk bad about us or whatever. And so, it was just oh, so it, so it has to deal with like censorship. Yes, that's so awful, man. I I think it is such a bad thing to to censor what people are allowed to see. Like information and knowledge is something that everybody should have access to, especially in this day and age. And for a government to just be like, no, like that, that's not okay. Well, like YouTube has been blocked in China for a long time. Uh, Twitch was doing fine, I guess. Um, but then it just blocked without warning. Uh, it's just a lot of people think that it's, more gaming stuff because gaming is getting so popular because there used to be like a black market on gaming and now it's like since it's been open the mm-hmm. chinese government has been like kind of making money i think off of it but like now they're noticing though that a lot of people are like way more into their thought and i think they're starting to get them worried that they're going to just be seeing a lot more than they want them to see and it's harder to control when you're watching other people play it and they can say whatever they want mm-hmm. it's yeah. yeah it's it's weird uh, i just i don't know i thought that was interesting that like Twitch gets been perfectly fine for a while now, and then all of a sudden it gets really, really popular, and people start watching esports, and then something happens. Probably like maybe what it is is like people seeing that there's other Asian countries that were playing, and like they don't, they're having fun playing these games, and they're doing this stuff, and the Chinese government is just worried about it. I don't know. I can't speak for the Chinese government. I can't speak for China in its entirety, but 
it probably made them a little nervous that you know they that there'd be people checking this stuff out and seeing something that they didn't want them to see, so they just tried it. Just they just blocked it. They said fuck it, blocked it. <laughs> what do you what do you think about that? What do you think about censorship of uh of like open content like that? I think it's immoral. I think it's I, I, I don't, yeah. I I just I don't think it's right. I don't think people should be. It's not even about like knowledge so much as it is about information. I think uh, I think everybody has the right to information, and I think everybody has the right to communication. I think oh, I, I think everybody should have the right to information and communication. So I think it's Some wrong. Form, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's wrong to just outright block that. I mean, it's weird. I don't know. I, it seems kind of crazy that it would just happen out of nowhere like that. Um, when it was fine this whole time, I'm assuming that maybe they some they saw something that made them think, "Oh shit, they they're talking about that, or they're doing that, or they can make money or something." I don't know, and it it got them scared, uh, because yeah. it was so popular. But I don't know. That's that's just our opinions on it, and we're two guys that don't know shit about shit, so I guess it doesn't count for anything. <laughs> but uh, I think it's pretty shitty. Uh, China, what are you doing, man? Knock it off. Let, 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 let your gamers be gamers, man. That's all we have in life sometimes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, moving on. Moving Some on. Negativity. Yeah, moving on from uh, ne- a negative government in a different country to the United States having more negativity, um, in a worse way. So go ahead and explain the situation here, Juan. Oh my God! You're gonna throw me on the spot like that? <laughs> sure am. Yeah. Uh, so it was a uh, what was it? Three adults in Texas, right? Yep, Texas. Yeah, yeah. So two two men were arrested in Texas after allegedly shooting and killing a man over a dispute about a garbage mattress. A a, a, a mattress that was t- meant to be for the trash. It was literally discarded. Did, did you watch the video? Because the video was in the link that I sent you. The video, yeah, I watched it's hor- it. It's, it's ridiculous. Horrific. I, and, and like I said, it's not so bad as to, like, it's gory because it's definitely not the most gory video that I've ever seen. It's just bad seeing the wife's reaction. So, but, uh, okay. yeah. To give a little bit more backstory and explanation, what happens, it, and you guys can Google the video if you want. I'm not going to... I don't think we're going to put a link or anything. No, no. So, but if you want to see it, it's there, just so you know. Basically, what happens is uh, a video opens up, and there are three men in what looks to be an alleyway. There are two men standing on one side, one man standing on another, and they are yelling back and forth over this mattress, or what, 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 assume, what I assume to be is this mattress and the whole situation. That's what, what it was, took- according to according to like reports, yeah. What I took from it was that man, the man who was fatally shot, was trying to get the mattress. Those people came out of their house with guns in front of their children and uh, and and wife. And I think it frustrated the man. The man got really heated and angry, aggressive. I don't think he should have been as aggressive as he was, but you know, right? You can't you can't really say how you're going to act unless you're put in that situation. Yeah, exactly. Either way. Either way, um, something happens. There's a scuffle that you don't really get to see a whole bunch of it. And uh, both men shoot at the husband, and they fatally shoot him over a mattress. Yeah, so the mattress was, I guess, tra- a, a, according to reports, allegedly what happened was there's a, a mattress that was garbage. It was tossed in a dumpster. The next the next day, the mattress was on uh the person who was shot's lawn, uh, the wife and his lawn, um, and then he, he, they're like, "What's going on?" So they toss it in the dumpster again, and then the next day, it's on their lawn again, and so they are like, uh, "They, they see, well, they see the guy bring it over, their next door neighbor." So he comes out and he's like, "What are you doing?" And I guess there's some issue with it being in the dumpster. I don't know what the issue is. No one for sure knows what's going on, but yeah. The guy gets mad because he the, the 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 man comes out with a handgun, brandishes it, and he's like, 
don't put the mattress pretty much in in is he's threatening them with a gun. If if you if you if you think about it, if you look at it from a uh just like a a, a non uh subjective standpoint and just say like I'm I'm looking at it from viewing at it, he pulls out a gun because he's he's like oh this guy's getting mad over this and I'm just gonna pull a gun over a mattress. And, and then the, he, the, the the son goes to, goes in the house and brings out a and shotgun. brings out a shotgun. And so Dude, the guy I don't is think mad. You should go into any situation like aggressive or not. I don't think you should just bring like a firearm to the situation that's going to no. do nothing but escalate. <laughs> no. First of all, it was two guys versus one. Even yeah. if the guy was going to do something, which I don't think this guy was about to start swinging over a mattress. But yeah, long story short, a man they lost his life. A man lost his life because of a mattress that was garbage and then the the neighbors not liking it and then and then yes they definitely I, I the guy was threatening to them and he said i was going to kill you because he pulled out a, a a weapon the the other guy apparently had a ba- baseball bat or something in his in his hand but he was also waiting for the police to show up so i think mm-hmm. more of what he d- was doing was pissed waiting for the police and and just kind of like defending himself in a way of saying like why would you do that and then the guy is stupid and is shouting at him tell him to shoot him and no he definitely shouldn't have done that but then these two men that are holding firearms with all this stuff going around over a, a, a trashed mattress just shoot this guy because he took a what maybe took a step towards him I don't even know the guy has a baseball bat. You have two. Gu- you have a shotgun and a pistol. Like mm-hmm. and he, he like shoots him in the face and he dies. He, he he instantly dies. It's not like he dies from injuries at the hospital or whatever. They kill him on site in front of his wife, which and, is awful, dude. I can't even begin to imagine what that woman is going through. It's it's a situation that really could only happen in America, where you have. Three people, adults, acting like children, and then two of the children decide to act like even bigger children, and their penises feel small, so they go get two guns and then kill a man over a mattress. Like, the dumbest shit. You could not make this shit up. You couldn't. And then, after those guys were both arrested and charged with murder, they were released after $25,000 bail. Oh, but they'll, they they definitely will be going to prison. They they've both they been will. charged with murder. They will, but it but it's just like they just got so done you, killing a guy, and then twenty five thousand dollars, and they're out. Man, I, no. So honestly, yeah, three people lost their lives that day over a mattress. I wish I could sit down with the two men and be like, "Was it worth it?" What? Like what? Because honestly, was it worth it? And the thing is, is like they refuse to talk to anybody because they, they know, they know how ridiculous it sounds. Cause these guys look like fucking goobers, dude. Like <laughs> they do guys. look like goobers. Oh, <laughs> they 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 look like goobers and they are goobers because how could you do something so selfish? At you most, just, shoot the guy in the legs, but you really had to kill a man. You had to kill the man. Why do we have, why do we have guns available for stupid people like this? This is this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. If you want to own a million guns, then own a million guns. But you should be not stupid if you're gonna own those fucking guns. <laughs> like, <laughs> like these guys don't even look like they deserve to have guns. They don't even look like they they understand the the ramifications of killing a man. And then they're gonna. I bet, you, I bet you that guy like shot that man in the face, and then was like surprised that he died. <laughs> that's what that, that's what I'm saying. Like, like this guy probably bought his pistol from just some random gun shop down the road, and the guy probably bought a shot. It's probably like a hunting shotgun that he got from Walmart. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they don't understand. People don't understand like the fact that you're holding a weapon that can kill somebody. And even if the guy had a baseball bat and was mad, you can end his life. You knew the police were coming. Get inside your house then and don't worry about it. Do you get what I'm saying? Both yeah, yeah, of them could have got see- inside the house and not worried about it at this point and waited for the police. Yeah. And that's like another issue that I have. If somebody draws 
a weapon on you in front, <laughs> yeah. of who, in front of whoever your wife your grandma your mom i don't care if somebody draws a weapon on you and you are unarmed any weapon it does not it does <laughs> not matter how tough you think you are it does not matter how macho you want to act i got nothing you to prove still, <laughs> i'm gone <laughs> you can still die I'm gone. Like, like this is this is this is the thing. No, I don't care anymore. Like, someone could okay? someone could pull out like what? a pocket knife, and I would be like, "All right, all right, I see, we, I see you. I'm pissed, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm at least gonna get on my porch. I'm not gonna stand next to you when you got a pocket knife ready. Like, uh, like this is this is they listen. I'm not saying the guy that was killed was smart, but I'm saying he didn't deserve to die. No, nobody deserves to die, but. Just for our viewers and anybody who, who right here, says, don't be that guy. Don't, don't try to be tough. Like, don't puff out your. It's chest. not worth it, not- especially with especially with fucking two weirdos from Texas that that like that have guns. Like, if someone don't. pulls out a gun, just don't. If you're that in the if you're in the heat, giant mole on his side, he had nothing to lose. <laughs> If you're if you're in the U.S., you should automatically know that things can get sketchy real quick. And then if you're in Texas, you're already you're in for a treat. I'm telling you that right now. When Why it comes, was he shirtless with jeans though? What happened? He was shirtless. What? No, he, what? No, he was shirtless with shorts. But did he have shorts on? Yeah. I don't know. He looked goofy and sweaty. He looked sticky. Listen, man, it was a very sticky situation, and someone lost their life from it, and it sucks. And I don't want to make a joke out of that, but like, this is this is where we are in the world, where we kill each other over fucking, fucking mattresses. mattresses, over mattresses. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm. Please, let's leave this discussion in the dirt where it belongs, and go to something very, very more po- like so much more positive. So much more positive, and I'm actually super. I'm super happy to talk about this, and this is about Bethesda um, helped a 12 year old boy with a rare cancer fulfill his wish of playing Fallout 76 before its release, and Nintendo let a termini- terminally ill cancer patient play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate early as well. Um. We got some angels in Satan's anus. And <laughs> was that really the expression that you just used? This angels, world sucks, man. Angels in Satan's anus. The whole world is Satan's anus, and there's just angels flying around trying to clean up the poo poo from the walls, and they just can't do it. Uh, <laughs> God. But yes, you're right. And so this is basically what it is, is Bethesda and Nintendo let these people that were not going to, and this is why I'm bringing this up is because I definitely want to talk about some news that's positive for once, because I feel like all news is negative nowadays and I don't want to perpetuate that. I just really want to talk about a situation that just seemed really ridiculous to me, but this is what we need to be talking about more. And it's the fact that a big company like Nintendo that, no, no reason for them to give a shit about a terminally ill case, ca- terminally ill cancer patient. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? And and <laughs> and Bethesda, and Bethesda, another big company that makes millions of dollars, letting a twelve-year-old play Fallout seventy-six. Like, hold on. So was this through like? Any kind of foundation, like a Make a Wish Foundation, or any or any of that. I'm or pretty sure. From I'm Bethesda? pretty sure that Bethesda was uh um was through uh Make a Wish, and I think Nintendo just got like the like the, the guy got attention because he um had like a social media campaign. It wasn't anything through Make a Wish. He was 21 years old, so I don't think he could be part of Make a Wish. I think you have to be uh, under 18. Uh, so Nintendo, this guy was 21. So Nintendo just saw a social media post and it got enough attention that this guy was able to play Ultimate. So basically, these two companies that have no reason to give a shit about people, even if you think it's for like okay for publicity or whatever, they still went out of their ways and let these people play games that they they really care about and they really like want want to like do like like play these games like like if you were dying 
Like, I don't know what a lot of your thought processes would be, but imagine being able to do something that like you already have that that brings you comfort in your time of need like you're like you're, you're gonna die and so you play video games because it makes you happy and then there's a game that you're really looking forward to and then you see the date is three months past the time that you're expected to live and i mean oh, it's it's, it's, so it's it awful. sucks but it's like that's a reality that we live in and now imagine mm-hmm. that you're looked upon as this is someone that like could use this and those people let you play their game without it even being finished and let you at least get an idea of what the game was going to be like since you probably won't be around to play it later. And, like, the thing is, is with Bethesda, I guess they've been, like, very, like, silently play- like been doing uh, Make-A-Wish stuff because they don't want a lot of, um, a lot of, like, publicity about it because they don't want to make it seem like it's, that's the only reason that you're doing it is for publicity's sake. Um, and like, they wanted to bring this kid to the studio, but he's in such a bad condition that they couldn't do it. So they sent a representative there to his house to play the game with him. And like, they, they even said like, we don't talk about it a lot, um, because it's a private thing. And this is just one takeaway from, for the family, but this is like, this is what we do and we do it for them. And it's just something that we like to do and we help a lot of people. But this is one thing that, you know, like, if they want to talk about it, we will. But, like, we don't want to talk, like, we don't go out of our way to talk about it because it's not about talking about it. It's the fact that, like, they get to, the, the family gets to enjoy it. And it's just crazy. It's crazy that these companies would, like, go out of the way to do this. I don't know. Like, what, what, what do you think about it? It gives me some hope in humanity. <laughs> there are genuinely good people out there. So that, that's, that's awesome, dude. How does it make you feel that these like though like that these companies are doing it? Like does it do you think it makes it less special or more special or I don't know. I don't I don't think it takes away from anything really. There was a group of people or a person who who saw an opportunity to make somebody happy and they they acted upon it. I think I think that's awesome. I think <clears throat> now like I I'm sure there are people out there that would be like oh this person literally like th- this company only did it because they wanted to get uh i don't know like a tax write off on something or they want to get uh some publicity w- what do you think about that i think if it was like something that you've seen across like news articles like oh my god bethesda bethesda or, or whoever you know sony like it just any major corporation was like we did this for cancer patient terminal patient so on and so forth, et cetera, whatever. I think then it, it would bring a negative light to it if it was purely for publicity. But I, I did I haven't seen anything about this. So I, I can't I can't assume that this is uh, for, uh like for publicity or for money. I don't know why they would do it for money when like they're already multi million dollar corporations. Because maybe it would lo- make people want to buy the game because they think it's a nice gesture. Ah, uh, I, I don't think so. I think it was a kind act. And I don't think there's too much uh, negative that you can pull from it, honestly. To me, I think anybody that tries to make these situations into a negative light or not as good as what they are, are assholes. Because what you're doing is you're you're taking away this positive thing and you're making it something negative. Even if it was meant to be negative, you you like even if it was negative, you know what I mean? Like, and these companies did it for a selfish reason. You're taking away the positivity about it by it by just assuming and talking about that. Instead of talking about the fact that this person who's going to die is going to get this. You know what I mean? You get that like l- that little bit of happiness right before like their short life is ended, you know. And, like, and even if there's something positive for these companies to gain from it, who gives a shit because they still did something good. And I they think still this made is somebody happy. And, th- and this is where our society is, is where we want to take and we gotta we want to take these things that can be positive and like th- we point out the, the negative aspects of it and say, but look at all these negative points. Look at this because of this happening. And it's like, OK, you're right. But there's always going to be a negative situation. Always. So why make always. it more negative? You know what I mean? Like, why take it and make it more negative and just let the positive part be positive? Like, it, pessimist. It, it's just it's it's sad because. I don't understand why we as humans are like this, where we can't just let these people be like, happy, have have the happiness. Of the, like, it's 
it's something that, like, these companies didn't have to do. You know what I mean? Like, they don't have to. Like, people, they like, would Nin- go on making millions, and uh, and one person would not change that at like, all. Like, it would make sense if it was companies, too, of, like, of like games that aren't that popular or something like that, and they did it. But this is, like, Bethesda, who will sell a million copies of 76 in the first day. Nintendo, who will sell... Super Smash Bros. Ultimate will sell... Everyone in the, in the world will buy it. Yeah, see, and the thing is, like... Bethesda, like their CEO could probably look that that cancer patient or ter- terminal patient, whoever it may be, right in the face, be like, "Fuck you, no, you're not playing my game," and they would still make millions of fucking dollars. So yeah, and 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 the thing is, is like, there's people that might say like, oh, "Well, how about they just pay for them to have better assistance and stuff like that?" Which like it, for these cases, I think both of these are very like rare cases of cancer where they like they had to stop treatment because they weren't getting better. But even if that was the case, like. Okay, yeah, you're right. They didn't give them money to make them better. Not everybody can do that because if you start doing that for one person, you have to do it for everyone. <laughs> but you can, you can, you can give one person a, a game. You know what I mean? Let them play a mm-hmm. game. Let them enjoy themselves. And to me, I think the only thing you should get out of this is posit- positivity. Um, <laughs> what do you think about like the people that may be upset that this person got to play it early and? think that like i've i've seen people talk about how like oh well if it's if it's finished enough there they can play it then how come we can't like all play it you i've can't. literally seen people say it. <laughs> 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 i <You> mean <laughs> i mean honestly how how are you going to be you know, jealous or upset that somebody who is going to die, they because they are going to die, got to play a video game before you. You know, you're still going to be able to play that video game, and you're still going to be be able to live. Like you, you should be happy that you have a life that's not going to end in the near fu- or foreseeable future. Be happy about that. Don't be upset that the person with cancer got to play a game a couple months before you did. It's uh, I I couldn't I couldn't have said it better myself, um, but yeah, I guess that's all I want to say on those things. Just kind of shed shed some positivity and say like, look at how, how dope, how dope that these companies are doing these things that they don't have to do, you know, and it makes me feel good. Thinking back to like our last few podcasts, I just want to say that it's kind of it's kind of saddening that these multi million dollar or billion dollar companies are doing more good in in today's society than people are you know like if we if we look back to like to like the whole starbucks situation and whatnot that we had talked about in previous podcasts mm-hmm. like it is sad that more people don't think the way that these companies are like it's it's sad that more people don't want other people to just be you know more knowledgeable more educated more happy like it why would you just why wouldn't you want that that's a that's a really good point like because even with starbucks like there's people that are saying oh they're doing this for publicity or they shouldn't make them all have to learn this stuff and it's like you're taking Education away is the po- never going to be a negative thing <laughs> you're taking away the positive positive side effects of this and, and you're making like like and you're making it all so negative and like you're right you're completely right juan is like there are people out there that would actively try to destroy that instead of let that be something that could cause some good because they just don't get it and they want to be they, negative and they want to be a dick about it. And I don't know. I, hate I don't know why like people that. like I just, that. I hate negative people. I can't stand people that are just always Purely negative, negative all the time, yeah. And I know there's I some people that have issues like, that. Like, like mentally with being able to be like more positive. I myself have struggled with that stuff. Like, uh, but the thing is, is there's a difference between like, you can tell the difference between someone that like mentally like has like issues with positivity and someone who mm-hmm. chooses to be negative. Like, because the people that choose to be negative can totally be positive. You, you, they just don't want to. And you can tell, you can feel it. Whereas the people who maybe like aren't that positive they still are somewhat positive, but they just have like more negative tendencies because of how their life is. And and, and it's just it's so sad that there that there are people that have 
actual mental emotional like illnesses that make them negative that are more positive than these people that choose to be negative throughout their whole lives that's how we live that's that's how we live we live in a world where people who struggle and usually it's those people that struggle that can understand and put as much empathy towards it than others so it's sad that that we live in a world where the people who have actual issues with being positive and companies that have no reason to be positive both of those are more positive than most of the population that live <laughs> live right now. It's uh, just it's just sad. I don't know. It is sad. I I I, uh, I don't know. I hate to like talk negatively like right here at the end of the podcast, but it's just it's something though that okay. Like, if you're gonna take anything from what we just said, is be positive, spread happiness, love, and positivity. Like we don't we wanna, don't. If you want to make this world a better place be positive exactly and that's how you and you start you start with like stuff like this like us talking about the positive stuff and like and like promoting it you know what i mean and Mm -hmm. we don't we don't do this for negative reasons and like yeah we don't like maybe we make the podcast and we would love to be we would love to be famous that'd be awesome if we could do this like full time and like me and juan could live side by side to each other and be able to do this and work on this and gaming and, and videos that'd be great i would love that with all my heart but that doesn't mean that we're doing this because that's what we want and that's a negative goal of ours like it, it, it we do this because we enjoy doing it and we like making people happy and entertained if if we yeah. did this to make people upset then like we wouldn't be doing it like if this if, if releasing this podcast made made the world a worse place then let us know right now we'll just stop it we'll never do it again <laughs> it's like that's not the reason why we're doing it. There's no reason for us to want to do it for that reason. We're doing it because we want to make people happy, and it's something positive. I feel like everybody should want that. Like everybody should want to do stuff to make others happy, and not just yourself. Like making yourself happy is important, but if making yourself happy means you're making everyone else feel shitty, maybe you should take a step back and kind of look at the fact that uh, you're a piece of shit. <laughs> 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 like it like it, i don't know in simple terms but yeah i don't know that's that's our little rant for today this is a long podcast one it's been a while since we did one this long uh you how know, long is it? i don't know an hour over an hour over oh. an hour oh, good. i sound i sound like from bruce almighty the, the newscast <laughs> Oh, I know exactly. I love that movie. Yeah, it's a great movie. Uh, maybe we'll talk about it in the next podcast. But for now, uh, thanks for listening, guys. Uh, had a good time talking to you, Juan. You're a very handsome man, and I love you. I love you too, Cody. I love uh, all of you. You know what? Uh, what's really funny is uh, my wife, Becca absolutely adores the fact that you tell everybody that you love them at the end of all of our podcasts. Really? <laughs> like there's, I think there's been one podcast where you haven't said that you love them. And that was only because I cut it out because like of, of how long after it was. And like, so we got cut off and she loves it. She thinks it's the most adorable sign off she's ever heard. She loves you and she's never even met you yet. So, Oh, that's great. I love her too. So, so I, I just feel like you should know that. And also, uh, Juan doesn't love anybody. He only loves himself, and he's he's racist. Oh wait, I didn't say that. He's not racist. Oh God.